Good day everyone, my name is Alex and welcome to a new review. For today I have a new mini PC called the Z83 II. So this is running Windows 10, has an Intel processor, it's an Intel X5 processor, 2 gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of internal storage, dual band Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and all that for under 100 bucks. So I was very very curious to see how well this will do. So let me show you what comes in the box with it and then let's see how it performs. Let's begin. The Z83 II comes in this box, some information on the front of the box and some specifications about the device on the back. Inside the box we find this power adapter, two HDMI cables, one of them is really short, this is the really short one and this is a bit longer. We also find a mount for the mini PC, so basically you could mount this on the back of your uh, monitor. And lastly a small user guide. The mini PC itself it's made out of plastic and I have to say that it doesn't look that premium. So on the front we just see the Z83 right there. On this side we are gonna find a slot for an SD card and two USB ports. On the back we find the on off button. This is the power adapter port a USB 3. This is the HDMI output, the network adapter port and the 3.5mm audio jack for headphones or speakers. And on the other side we just have some holes so it doesn't overheat and nothing on the back except for the model name. Now that we've seen how it looks and what comes with it, I'm gonna plug this in and I'm gonna start recording the screen. I'll show you how Windows looks, we'll uh, do some uh, benchmark tests, we'll play a couple of games, we'll play a couple of uh, video formats and we'll see how this performs. Alright, so it takes about 45 seconds from the time that you turn on the box till uh, you get to this screen and uh, this is basically Windows 10 that you've seen on any computer. So let's start by going to settings here, I'm gonna move a bit uh, through settings here so I can show you a couple of settings. So let's start to the system first. So uh, display basically advanced display settings, we can just uh, select the screen resolution and it's at 1080p at this time apps and features i'm just gonna scroll through a couple of these so i can uh, show you a couple of things so uh, we'll go back uh, to storage here so we have about uh, 14 gigs left out of that 28 uh, that comes with the mini pc so not that much uh, storage and uh, if we go to about here we can see the model name so z83 II, and uh, this is the windows that we get so we get windows 10 uh, home edition so uh, that's about it for this one moving to devices here uh, at connected devices we can basically see the screen that i have connected the keyboard uh, and that's about it basically at Bluetooth we can just connect to any Bluetooth device uh, that's uh, nearby and you can probably see that uh, it's working fine because I'm finding all these smartwatches and phones uh, that are sitting around the computer here. So a whole bunch of uh, stuff available there. Accounts uh, straightforward, privacy, language and uh, time. So let's go to language here uh, for a second. So I was going to show you what languages are available. language so we can basically add any of these uh, languages uh, here so a whole bunch of uh, languages available and the last thing I wanted to show you at settings here uh, was the update uh, part of the settings app so as you can probably tell Windows is doing updates as we speak and at activation here uh, we can see that uh, it is activated to digital license linked uh, to my Microsoft account basically so uh, it seems to be like a legal uh, Windows 10 uh, copy. For the first benchmark test we get a score of 537 and if you remember uh, my review of the K8 on that review we actually got 541 so the score is very very similar. If I press on home here uh, we can check out uh, the components of this mini PC. So this is the processor that we have. This is the video card that we have in this mini PC. Let me move back. This is gonna be the storage. So we don't have that much uh, storage available as you can probably tell. This is the motherboard. And uh, this uh, last one is gonna be the RAM. So again, we don't have that much uh, RAM available. However, we are able to get a score of 537. So uh, I guess it's a good score compared uh, with my K8 and uh, 
considering that this one costs about half the price of that one. And for the next CPU benchmark on the Geekbench 4, we get a multi-core score of 1940 and a single core score of A41. And here you can see some details about uh, the score. And I even checked the GPU's benchmark and we get a score of 5313. And here you can see some uh, system information basically and some uh, information about the test itself. Even though this is supposed to have dual band Wi-Fi, I was only able to connect and see my 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network and not able to see my 5 GHz Wi-Fi network for some reason. And this is the speed that we got for download on the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network, so about 30 for download and about 10 for um, upload. So this is a decent speed and you're gonna be able to do pretty much everything with this speed. Like most other devices, we also have uh, the Windows Store, so here you can basically download uh, any games, apps, uh, anything that uh, you may be into. And of course, since this is running Windows, you can install Chrome, you can install Firefox, basically any browser that you wish. So I have YouTube uh, opened here on Chrome, I'm just gonna play a bit of this video so I can show you how well YouTube does at uh, different resolutions. So let's check out the resolution here. So currently it's at uh, 480p and it does do fairly good. Let's see what happens if we choose 1080p for example. Let's see how smooth it actually goes. So we'll give it a second. So let me make this uh, bigger. So at 1080p, as you can probably tell, uh, it doesn't go totally, totally smooth. Maybe it actually does. Actually, it, uh, it does go uh, pretty good now. At the beginning, uh, it wasn't that, uh, that well, no, it's not uh, totally smooth. So 1080p, it's going to work, but uh, not uh, the best. I think the best resolution for uh, something like this is going to be 720p. And at 720p, you can still uh, see pretty good. So let's uh, select 720p now. And I'm pretty sure that 720p it's gonna go uh, much much better than at uh, 1080p. So yeah, it uh, does go much smoother now. So YouTube, I guess 1080p it's uh, out of the question that uh, graphics card that we have, it's not the most powerful and uh, well, that CPU is not uh, the most powerful either. So this is uh, how you would get uh, YouTube on a mini PC like this. So I have my USB stick plugged in uh, to this mini PC. We'll uh, check out a couple of files from here. Let's try uh, this 59 frames per second one, see if uh, it actually works. I highly, highly doubt it, but uh, we might as well try. And all we can see it's a black screen. So a black screen for that one. So not gonna happen. Let's close it. The next one I'm gonna try it's this 1080p one. This one should do fine without any issues. So let's see this one. And as I was imagining, uh, this one works uh, really, really good without any problems. It actually looks uh, very, very good actually. Alright, so this one uh, works fine. Let's see another one here. Let's try this uh, 50 frames per second 4K file. I highly doubt that it's gonna work. No, it actually works, but in like slow motion, so it doesn't do that great. But uh, at least it uh, starts working, which I wasn't expecting. So the next one is gonna be this 720p file, and I'm 100% sure that this one will do fine. And as I was imagining, uh, this one works without uh, any issues. Uh, let's see what else. We have this one here. I'll give it a second. And this one does uh, okay as well. We we'll close that one. Let's try which one? Let's try this one here. No, let's try this one. But uh, most likely. No, I'm not gonna have anything installed uh, to play that one, so we'll skip that one. Let's try this one instead. And this one seems to do okay as well. 
So a lot of files are doing really really good on uh, this uh, underpowered uh, mini PC because this uh, processor is definitely not uh, the fastest out there. So uh, this one also does good. So pretty much every file that I tried except for that uh, 4K file did uh, fairly good. So uh, this is how uh, this mini PC handles uh, video files. For our next uh, test I installed Kodi, so let me just find uh, Kodi here. And uh, I just wanted to show you how Kodi works and how uh, fast it loads and stuff. So uh, you're basically seeing how long uh, it actually takes and it wasn't that uh, long at all. So let's press this miss here. And let me go to system here and uh, system info, I'm just gonna show you some uh, information that we see here. So this is all the information that we get. And I've also installed an add-on uh, earlier. I'm just gonna show you that add-on and uh, we can check out how it uh, goes. So let's uh, check out some live camps from somewhere. So let's go to California this time. And let's check this one. So uh, it should, uh, Kodi should work fine uh, on this mini PC because Kodi pretty much works on anything. And uh, we'll just give this a second and now it's actually live so we can see the beach in uh, California. So uh, very very cool and uh, yeah, Kodi should do just fine uh, on this mini PC. And for our last test I'm gonna be playing uh, Asphalt Extreme, so yeah you can play games on this as well. I'm actually playing with a keyboard. This is just the tutorial basically, so uh, I'm just gonna show you a bit so you can uh, see how well uh, this does. Hopefully the Windows doesn't restart because you can probably see that uh, notification at uh, the bottom there. So even gaming, uh, like some games of course, not all the games are gonna do fine, but uh, most uh, games uh, will do okay like little games uh, available in the windows uh, store there So there you have it, this was the Z83 2 mini PC running Windows 10. So as you can probably tell it does do fairly good uh, for its price, I mean for uh, under 100 bucks for a Windows machine I think it does uh, do fairly fairly good. Everything that I tried seems to work, again it's not gonna be the fastest uh, Windows machine out there, but for that price I think it does uh, fairly good. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment uh, down below. Uh, if you did like the video, press that like button. I will be bringing more mini PCs uh, in the near future. I have one uh, that's got like 4 gigs of uh, RAM, 128 gigs of internal storage that I'll uh, be bringing on the channel. So uh, stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching, guys.